Juan Guzman of the Dominican Republic against Fabio Oliva of Argentina. So wonderful opportunity here for these two as well, both unbeaten fighters. They're almost all set to go. Our commentary team at ringside, Glenn McCrory and Ian Dark, and we welcome our MC from the United States tonight, it's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and we welcome you to a very special night of World Championship Boxing coming your way here at the Cardiff Castle in Cardiff, Wales. And it's all brought to you by Frank Warren's Sports Network in association with BetSPG.com and Red Square. Well, fans, the first of our World Championship attractions is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization. The president is Francisco Valcarcel, Supervisor Charles Giles. This is along with the British Boxing Board of Control. The steward in charge is Lord Brooks of Tremorfa. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside from Wolverhampton, England, John Coyle. From Warwick, Rhode Island in the United States, Harold Gomes. And from Leeds, England, Mickey Van. And the third man of the ring, the referee in charge of this bout from Puerto Rico, Jose Rivera. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBO Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks, joining us from Catamarca, Argentina. His weight, 8 stone, 10 pounds, his fine record stands at 18 wins, no losses, won no contest with 10 wins, coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the WBO number 14 Super Bantamweight contender. Please welcome the undefeated Fabio Bushu Oliva. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this 12-round vacant world championship attraction, wearing white trunks with red and blue trim, hailing from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 8 stone, 10 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with 17 wins, no losses, 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBO number one ranked super bantamweight contender, introducing Joan Guzman. And once again, our referee in charge, Jose Rivera, now to give instructions, 12 round scheduled bout. Good evening, everybody. Fred, I can't do the translation for you there. I think it's uh, fair to say, without uh, any fear of contradiction, it's the first time a Central American and a South American have met for a World Championship open air in Wales, certainly on a Saturday, Glenn, anyway. <laughs> Probably right, yeah. But an interesting fight nonetheless. Watch this little fellow here, uh, Juan Guzman from the Dominican Republic. They call him Little Tyson. He's got 11 wins inside two rounds. In with late substitute Fabio Olivar for the WBO Super Bantamweight title, which used to be held by Marco Antonio Barrera. Guzman was supposed to be meeting champion Agapito Sanchez, but he's got eye problems. So the title was vacant. This is the match they came up with. Guzman, though, is the number one contender, big favorite, wearing the gold trunks with the Dominican flag emblazoned on the front of them. The black of Olivar from Argentina, who's got a South American title and his own national championship as well. But is he going to be good enough here? He is unbeaten in 19. Guzman unbeaten in 17 so far could be good it's an extra treat for the fans on this big bill tonight good left hand there from Guzman who is fiery and loves to attack early yes he's a real action fighter who's a, a good puncher and he'll be looking to try and get Oliver out of there as quick as he can proud little fighter Juan Guzman body shots from him early on 
and Oliver having to take some big ones and rocked by a left hand very low blow then a lovely left hook as well from Guzman who looks all menace and all business well another low blow and just getting a warning for a referee seen at that time there have been two of them from Guzman but in between there have been some very impressive fast and menacing looking shots in this fantastic open air setting on this balmy beautiful evening in Cardiff well he's really loading up with the right Guzman he holds the left pretty low but the power is in that right this will be a big step up from anything that Oliver's faced before and his defense looks a bit leaky worryingly so from his point of view he's already taken plenty well he's been shook up and he's a little bit dazed he's trying to defend needs to get a few shots off himself Guzman's trained long and hard for this expecting to fight the tough Agapito Sanchez who is also from the Dominican Republic 